Fly Free Sports, we back at you again. I know damn well y'all ain't think that the whole day was going to go by without me saying happy motherfucking Grizz Day. Next. First day of the season. I never did my Grizzlies preview. You know, I spoke on them uh, on the uh, NBA streams that we do. But I never did really did like a real preview. So I'm going to kind of kind of uh, put one of those together now, condense it a little bit. Yeah, man, I'm excited about the season. We Who we got tonight? We got the Pelicans tonight. Now, when I made my Grizzlies prediction on the uh, first NBA stream, me, Ben, and one did, I didn't take into account that Steven Adams will not be playing this year but i'm keeping the same motherfucking energy man because that's how we rock man fly free sports we don't fucking waver um yeah steven adams is out hopefully we could sign a big to replace him you know we already gonna have a little rough time over these 25 games without 12 so you know we just gonna have to make it do what it motherfucking do man uh we got the like i said we got the pelicans tonight I'm assuming the starting lineup is going to be Marcus Smart, Desmond Bain, uh, Zaire Williams, Jaron Jackson, and I'm assuming Xavier Tillman will be starting. He started for us in the past, you know, the majority of last year after after Steve-O went down. So I'm assuming he'll pick up where he left off, you know, a rotation of Luke Kennard, Derek Rose, David Roddy. Uh, man, um... What can I say? Steven Adams got hurt again. Hopefully they don't start Santi Aldama in this place because I think we did start Santi last year at the beginning of the year. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm not a big fan of Santi Aldama. I don't mean to throw him under the bus, but it is what it is. You know, Jitty. I'm Jitty is cool, but you know, hopefully he he gets an adequate amount of minutes. But tonight. On the tonight, I don't know. I haven't looked at the injury reports. So I don't know what the Pelicans got available tonight. I don't know if uh, everybody's playing. I'm pretty sure Z- Zion's playing. Bi, um, Herbert Jones, Valid Shunis. I don't know if he's playing. I don't know if. Um, I don't know. I don't really follow the Pelicans too closely to know who's in and who's out, but I do know that I got us winning tonight at home at the crib. Uh, Expecting a big game straight off the bat from Desmond Bain. I think he's going for 30-plus tonight. Say whatever you want to say. And overall for the season, man, I'm expecting Dez to come close to an all-star nod, if not get one altogether. He's going to have a lot of freedom. In these first 25 games specifically, man, I think he's going to average about 25 to 26 points a game. And I know that sounds crazy, but Desmond Bain, man, he's a sharpshooter, bro. And he's only getting better off the dribble. I think I mentioned that before, too, as well. Um, Love Luke Kennard coming off the bench. Another sharpshooter. He should be ready for action. He shot himself out of a slump in the last preseason game we had. So looking forward to seeing Luke Kennard in action. Hopefully, Kenneth Lofton Jr. can get some minutes throughout the year. I'm pretty sure he won't be playing these first few games or or whatever. Maybe Taylor Jenkins might surprise us and have him off the bench for a good six, seven minutes a game. Who knows? I'm I'm completely clueless on his rotations for the year. Don't know how he'll work. um, Don't know how he'll work Kenneth Lofton into the rotation if he does or if he does at all. Um, Who else? I'm excited. I'm excited to see Derrick Rose. Coming off the bench, I think he's going to be a solid contributor all year as long as he stays healthy. We shouldn't have a problem with Derrick Rose being a a great backup point guard. Uh, What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Jaron Jackson, of course, like I say all the time, is the wild card of this team. If he plays well, we're a very we're a different team. We take on a whole new complexion when he plays well. He's he has to get better with his rebound. I want to see his rebound numbers increase. I know that's always been a topic of discussion with him, but I do want to see his rebounds increase, his rebound numbers increase. Can shoot the ball. Sometimes he forces things. Sometimes he takes stupid, unnecessary fouls. You know, I think he's a work in progress in that that regard. 
but I'm still in his corner for now, man. We'll we'll see how how he adapts to to being the number two option while twelve is out. Um, what else is there to say about the team, man? David Roddy, I'm expecting big leaps out of him this year. Expecting uh, another big leap from um, who else? Who else? Zaire Williams. Zaire Williams. I think a lot like Jaron Jackson Jr., he could be a very big X factor for this team. I know there's been reports of him saying that he's going to be impressive this year and he's working hard to to get himself in shape. And, you know, he had an injury riddle year last year. I was really low on him. Hopefully he improves and he sticks to his word to what he's going to do. So excited to see Zaire Williams. I just think overall, I think we have a, a really good team, man. I think um, I'm predicting about 52 wins, 52, 53 wins, somewhere around there. Defensively, we're going to be we're going to be a top. I think we're going to be a top five defensive team. I really do. I think with the addition of Marcus Smart, man, and we have the last two defensive player of the year on our team. So I think with the addition of Marcus Smart, it's going to make us that much more formidable on that side. Um, I just think uh, hopefully we, we can generate enough offense over these first 25 games to sustain. But I do believe we will do so, man. I, I, I'm i really high on this team this year. The, the Steven Adams injury kind of kind of you know it, it put a damper on things but hopefully we can sign a big i'm i'm really banking on us signing a big would we'll say dwight howard but i don't know what the fuck he on i don't know if i want that nigga on my team all this goofy shit he got going on don't need no motherfucking distractions i don't know if i'm really with it but he was the first guy that came to mind uh because i know we're gonna we're gonna need help on the boards. It's just as simple as that, man. Can't be no more clear than that. We're definitely gonna need help on the board. Steven Adams is a very, very big contributor, especially on the offensive glass. Um, like I said, these first 25 games without 12, I think will be fine. And I think he'll pick up where he left off. I think Ja will have his best season to date over the course of the last however many games that he plays if you know he stays healthy i do think he'll come back with a, a refocused mindset and be ready for the season i really do uh i know that's kind of you know you know you're hitching your wagon to somebody who's very very unpredictable but my favorite player in the league man i think he'll get it together it's just that's just my assumption uh what else we got with the grizz just you know I'm looking forward to a great season, like I said, and I think, I think this is the year. If we can get past the, I think the Nuggets are the only challenge. Like I don't, I don't see any of these other teams as a challenge. I'm sorry, like it's just, maybe it's the fan in me or whatever, but I'm not scared of any of these teams in the West whatsoever. But the Nuggets, as as we saw last night, that's a hell of a hill to climb. The motherfuckers is in mid-season form already. Like they they only won by twelve, but there was never a point in that game where I felt like they were they would lose. Like, and the Lakers, I think, are going to be pretty good this year as well. So I think that was a good uh, barometer of what the what you can expect from the Nuggets. Uh, I'm not going to preview no other teams, but this is Happy Motherfucking Grizz Day. This is Grizz Day, so. Let's enjoy this win tonight over the Pels at the crib. And that's all I got. Like, share, subscribe. Fly Free Sports signing off.